Gentlemen, we must begin today's meeting on a sad note. Admiral Vazox was mauled to death this morning in pursuit of an earth dog specimen. It goes without saying that he was one of the bravest men ever to wear the Galactic Confederation's prestigious uniform, and replacing him will be no easy task. I nominate Commander Jurunson. His track record is impeccable, and also his dashing good looks will provide a great image for the Confederation. I'm afraid that Joronson is off dealing with vacation-related issues in Germany, and we need someone urgently. I'm afraid the news gets worse. It seems that Sub-Lieutenant Udelson is off on a mission on Zetos 3. In addition, Space Captain Olaf is also too far out of range. And it seems that every other major officer is struck down by a chronic outbreak of nebulosis. According to my calculations, there is only one captain available. Captain Space Captain. Space Captain? That renegade? He's killed six of his own men. He'll destroy the Confederation before he even sets foot on an Astro Shuttle. I'm afraid Tommy's right. In these dire circumstances, that moron space captain is the best we can get. Did someone say justice? No, not Lumpy. He was my friend. Why could it not have been me? Congratulations, Mr. Captain. You are now an Admiral of the Galactic Confederation. Thank you, Vice Chairman Von Zaxlian. It's always been every space captain's dream to be a space captain admiral. Here's your new astrophone. According to my calculations, it is 50 years ahead of our time. I am greatly impressed by this stunning beacon of technology. And lastly, Mr. Captain, as a Space Admiral, you have the honor of receiving a sub-lieutenant. You will find Vorox the Destroyer here to be a very useful man. In fact, he's the second best calculator we've ever seen. My calculations have never proven to be incorrect. Come, sub-lieutenant. The galaxy won't arrest itself. Everything is going exactly as I've calculated. Mm -hmm.